hi guys welcome back to my channel it's Brittany aka BB here and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you why I chose a black midwife and home birth my baby is right here sleeping so you may hear some noise if she gets a little squirmy um, but yeah let's just go ahead and get started okay so I am currently 10 days postpartum and my full experience is not done yet I am still working together with my midwife um, but Thus far, I have lots of great things to say about my experience and I want to share them with you in this video. So I originally chose a home birth because I'll say I was introduced to the idea um, nine years ago. A friend of mine was pregnant and she asked me to be her birthing coach. I had no idea what that was. I was like nine years ago, I was 23 and i was just like um okay so i youtube like birth stories and videos and just trying to learn about birth because i i didn't really know that's how i was introduced to home birthing that women actually choose to do this and it's not just a mistake i always kept that in the back of my mind i knew that when it was time for me to give birth that that might be something that i was interested in when i had my son my first child um I was interested in home birth but I was too afraid to commit to it but after experiencing his birth and what it was like I felt like I can do that I can birth my child at home so let me just try so I did more research and from what I learned everything about the home birthing process just lined up with who I am right now as a person and what I believe what I feel comfortable with it just all fell into place and I was just really confident about my decision I wanted the personalized intimate care that I knew I most likely wouldn't get um, going the traditional route I wanted a holistic route and I also wanted care from someone who understood me we all know about the healthcare disparities within the black community um, especially for mothers more black women die in childbirth than any other race of women and that is absolutely absurd and ridiculous doctors often don't listen to us they don't believe us when we say we're in pain and it's crazy that it's 2021 and that kind of stuff is still happening even to celebrities we all know serena williams story it's just crazy it's absolutely crazy and i wanted somebody who understood me who understood those disparities and who wanted to do something about them and also the one of the biggest things was COVID lots of fathers were not able to go to appointments not able to witness the birth of their children and I didn't want that I said no I I want my husband to be there every step of the way this is his child too and I understand that we were taking precautions and that it was necessary to help stop the spread to help keep people safe to help keep our frontline workers our doctors our nurses safe it was absolutely necessary but it's also heartbreaking for fathers to not be a part of the process so i felt like having a home birth would be a safer route and a route that was more inclusive for the entire family so how did i find my midwife it started through a google search i found a midwife that i felt would be amazing for me she had like over 40 years of experience birthing babies. I was blown away by her knowledge and just her experience and everything. And I was like, wow, I, I want to have her. So I called her and I was so sad because her daughter was also pregnant. And she's like, oh man, like you guys have a due date that's like just a few days apart. And she would kill me if I was not present for her birth. So I'm not taking any clients that are due in February. So I was just like, oh man, like I gotta find somebody, something has to work out. And so she referred me to um, a couple of midwives and I interviewed them. And the one that stood out to me was the one that I hired, her name is Terry. And <sighs> Terry has been amazing. After hiring her, we immediately jumped right into it. And um, you know, she went over everything, let me know how this is gonna go, what she expects of me and everything and so we started immediately with a food journal and she wanted me to keep a journal of everything I ate and I had to submit that to her at the end of every week. My midwife was very 
thorough and she made sure to really keep an eye on my health and everything that was going on with me um, because I wasn't going to a hospital for uh, the appointments and stuff like that. I did have a backup doctor so my midwife um, her practice I don't want to say requires but she strongly recommends that we have a backup um, OB and I did not have one at the time so she told me about a few that were great to work with that were accepting of home birth because most doctors are not accepting they think that women who birth at home are crazy but it's like it's our choice like women have choices we can choose so my midwife referred me to a few doctors that were accepting of home birth that would not treat me like I had a third eye and I started going to him um I went for my first ultrasound and I actually only saw him two or three times so I went for my first ultrasound I went back again for another ultrasound like a few weeks later um, for I think it was my 20 week scan and I think that was it I only went twice the doctor was awesome and really encouraging he was like you know I support home birth and I support what you're doing he asked about my labor and delivery with my son and he's like oh you're a perfect candidate but if anything goes wrong you know you need to come to the hospital I'm your guy that made me feel really confident um, I knew that I had backup support if I needed it if I needed to be transferred to the hospital for any reason which I was not foreseeing any reason for that to happen but if I needed it I knew that I would be accepted into the hospital and people wouldn't treat me uh, any kind of way because I've heard lots of stories about women birthing at home who go into the hospital and who are treated poorly because they decided to birth at home. With my midwife I met on the same type of schedule that you would meet with an OB. We met once a month um, up until what is it like a, a 30 something weeks and you start meeting twice a month and then you go down to the last the last month you meet once uh, a week up until the birth um, just the same thing as I did with my son we met on the same type of schedule my midwife came to me I never had to go to any office I never had to go anywhere so my family was included in all of my appointments and my midwife which I thought was awesome she taught my husband how to do everything so my husband was able to map the baby um, she taught him how to use a fetoscope so that he was able to find my placenta he was able to find the baby's heartbeat he used the Doppler like everything he took my blood pressure whatever she was doing she was teaching him as well because she strongly believed that this was a family thing this was his child too and that he should be a part of this process and that wasn't our experience with my first baby so that was amazing that my husband could be so hands-on and there was one point where my midwife could not make it to an appointment because she had been exposed to someone uh, with COVID and she never had it she tested several times but she just wanted to you know keep me safe and so she's like I'm not gonna come for this appointment um, but we're gonna do it over zoom and my husband was able to conduct the appointment and do everything we needed to do except for my urinalysis because we didn't have like all the, the strips and things like that um, that she has but everything else he was able to do and I was able to maintain like all of my records because my husband knew what to do <laughs> yeah my midwife had holistic solutions for every problem that I may have come up against um, if I was nauseous she was telling me you need to eat green apples the enzymes in green apples will do blah 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 or when I was having headaches she told me oh you need to take this or take that like it was always a natural solution and I never had to get on any like medication or anything she she has a wealth of knowledge when it comes to herbs and um, supplements and different things like that so I was taking all kinds of stuff <laughs> during my pregnancy if you follow me on Instagram you may have seen when I would post my breakfast all the vitamins that I was taking um, I was taking alfalfa capsules I took vitamin E vitamin C vitamin D um, I was taking my prenatal vitamin I had to do smoothies every single day with sea moss and after a while I stopped the sea moss and I started doing smoothies with moringa powder it had me drinking a lot of water I never drank so much water in my life like this pregnancy was super healthy okay I was on top of it when it came to my diet and oh yeah I was I was also drinking um what is it I was drinking pregnancy tea um, which was supposed to help for to tone my uterus and prepare it strengthen it and tone it and prepare it for labor and I feel like it did because 
<laughs> my baby came out like that. <laughs> it was just so much. It was so much. But I trusted her 1000% and whatever she told me to do, I did it. Okay, so on to the birth. For the birth of my baby, my midwife came to my house at 37 weeks and she set up her birthing station where she had everything that she needed um, for birth. It was all types of tinctures there and she had a she had two suitcases that she put underneath the table and they had like herbs and different things in there for preserving my placenta um i don't i don't even know she had her stethoscope her fetoscope she had um the suctions gloves like whatever i needed for birth it was all there i was required to purchase a birth kit um that i purchased through her website and that had lots of things in there that i needed for birth and then my midwife supplied me with a lot of stuff too like the pool she brought that um the holes she brought that we ended up buying another hose because our laundry room is quite far away from my bedroom so the hose didn't reach so we bought a second one as an extension but she provided the holes for that um and then i also bought other supplies outside of the birth kit like um, I had to buy towels. She recommended that I would get white towels, just cheap white towels. Didn't have to spend a lot of money. Um, and I had to sterilize them and bag them. If you see my birth video, um, she comes in and she like takes a um, Trader Joe's bag and she's like, like grabbing the towels out of the bag because I sterilized the towels and I put them in brown paper bags and kept them like stored away until it was time. I bought tarp to put down so that my carpet wouldn't get messed up with having a water birth. And I bought... Um, a king size sheet to put over my bed i bought a um what do you call it a shower curtain and we just literally we had our regular sheets on the bed that we use all the time i put a shower curtain on top of those and then i put the fitted sheet on top of that and that was like um what i used to like sit on in case there was like any blood or anything when birth was over we could just pull up that sheet in the shower curtain ball it up and toss it so i was well prepared i had everything that i needed for a successful birth postpartum okay now on to the postpartum so my midwife provides great postpartum care with a hospital birth you get one postpartum check at six weeks and then you go on your way and that is terrible i remember needing so much more support after i had my son i had so many questions and i just felt like they were done with me like it was just like oh great we'll see you when you have your next kid like literally that's what they told me and i was just like um okay <laughs> my midwife came to see me 24 hours after the birth of my baby well let me start after having my baby she stayed um for about six hours or so and then she left and came back at the 24 hour mark after I gave birth um, and then she came back 48 hours after and then 72 hours after and then a week after and then I'll see her again next week which will make the two week mark and I think after that I won't see her until four weeks and then I'll see her again at six weeks so way more postpartum care than you get taking a traditional route at a hospital. She also required that I be on bed rest for two weeks, which is why I'm filming in my bedroom. Bed rest is like in the bed and I'm not really in the bed, but I'm in my bedroom. I just walk from the bed to the chair. I love that she requires this two week bed rest. One, because my husband is just catering to my every need, okay? I don't have to leave this room to do anything. He brings me all of my meals when I need to pump. He's bringing my pump up. He's cleaning and washing it out between pumping sessions. He's bringing me cups of water. He's like, do you need anything? Can I rub your feet? Are you all right? And I'm just like, can I get an extension of bed rest, please? It's been amazing. <laughs> I've had a few people ask me like, why are you on bed rest? What's going on? There's nothing wrong. I had a totally normal, healthy delivery. I had no tearing, nothing. My baby's fine. I'm great. But my midwife is like, you have to remember that you did not have a hospital birth and you didn't have all those other interventions. And I just want to be sure that you're okay, that we have no hemorrhaging or anything else like that. So you are going to be on bed rest. You're on lockdown. Do not leave that room. Don't you dare go down those stairs. Like She's dead serious. She said, doctor's appointment for baby? And that's it you get yourself down those stairs in the car you go to the doctor and then you get yourself back in the car and you come in the house go upstairs and get back in the bed and i'm like yes ma'am gladly she left me with several different tinctures that i could take to help me out um based on how i'm feeling she left me some angelica i have uh rodilla rodiola something i don't know how to say that 
um i have after ease which was which is my favorite I, I was taking this a lot um after i had the baby and then this one is the cotton root i haven't had to take any drugs just all natural things to help me heal and to help me feel good on my third day postpartum she came and she made um a big pot of I don't know it was like this mixture of herbs and stuff it was like garlic and all kind of I don't know she had all kinds of stuff she, she was asking for salt I heard her asking Deji downstairs like I need some garlic cloves I need some kosher salt I need this I need that and um yeah she made this big pot of some kind of herbal concoction that I could use to um to take sit, sits baths with pretty much like um this herbal mixture you boil it in a pot so that it can get steaming hot and you put it inside of your toilet. I have a, like a little special sits bath seat thing you stick down in your toilet and then you sit on it and you cover your lap with a towel. It's like a vagina steam honestly and you just allow those herbs and stuff to go up into your uterus so that your body can heal itself and get rid of all the extra blood and things that it doesn't need anymore. My midwife also supplied me with a belly band to put around my tummy to help um compressed. I wore that for a few days and then I had already purchased my own which was a little bit more sturdier um, so I've been wearing my own now but for those first few days I was wearing that to help me because boy when I got up from having the baby I just felt like my whole midsection like everything like all my organs everything was just like <sighs> I felt like I had a gut punch like everything was shifted and moved and I just was like I can't breathe and I really needed that support to hold everything together so that came in handy so that's pretty much it I think I've covered everything that I needed to cover about my experience it's been so great I couldn't have asked for anything better I'm so happy that I made this decision I don't have anything negative to say anything like it was all great I don't plan on having any more kids but if a kid pops up <laughs> um i'll definitely take this route again so if it's something that you've been interested in and you're on the fence like do your research and learn as much as you can and i highly recommend it i mean i like i said i have nothing bad to say i hope this video was helpful to you if you're on the fence and you're trying to decide if you want to take this route or not i say go for it go for it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up also leave a comment in the comment section below especially if you have any questions because i'd be more than happy to answer them make sure that you subscribe if you haven't and click the notification bell so you'll be notified of all my future uploads all right thanks guys bye